Hello, this video is going to review what we already know about imaginary solutions on a graph. So for the first one, it says shown below is the graph of f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3. State the number of real roots and the number of imaginary roots. So in order to go and do this question, you need to know how many roots this graph has in total. And in order to do that, you have to look at the degree. So looking at the equation there, what's the degree of the polynomial? So the largest exponent is 3, which means your degree is 3. And that's going to tell me that there are three total solutions. Now you're going to look at your graph. And the number of real solutions is the number of x-intercepts that you can see. So on my graph, I have one x-intercept. Which means that I'm going to have one real solution. The difference is going to be how many imaginary solutions you have. So 3 total minus 1 real means that there are two solutions that you can't see. So in conclusion, I'm going to have 1 real and 2 imaginary solutions. Because my 1 that I see on the graph plus the 2 that I don't add up to the degree of the polynomial. And remember that it makes sense to have two imaginary roots because imaginary roots always come in pairs. Let's look at the next one. Now for this one, we don't have an equation to go based off of. So we're going to have to find the, the degree by looking at the extrema that we have. And remember that the extrema is just a turning point. So looking at a graph, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 turning points. So in order to figure out the degree, what we're going to have to do is take the number of extrema and add 1 to it. Because your, degree, your extrema plus 1 is equal to the degree of 5. And keep in mind, it makes sense that we have a degree of 5 here because 5 is an odd degree. And odd degrees have arrows going in the opposite directions, which we have here. The left arrow is going up and the right arrow is going down. Now we're looking at how many x-intercepts we have. And on this graph, we have 1, 2, 3 x intercepts. So if we have 3x intercepts, that helps us with knowing how many real solutions and how many complex solutions there are. So we have 5 total, because that's the degree, minus the 3 real that we have, which is going to give me 2 imaginary. So we see three x-intercepts, and there are two x-intercepts that we don't see. Now, this problem tells you to explain, so make sure you write a sentence. Try to think of what an appropriate explanation would be for this. So, there are three real solutions because there are three x-intercepts. The degree tells us there are five total solutions. If three are real, then two have to be imaginary. Basically, all I did is I took what we wrote on the side, like the five total minus the three real gives me two imaginary, and I put it in a sentence. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, here they are giving us a polynomial function. The first part is asking for how many local extrema there are, which means how many turning points does this graph have? 
I see one turning point, two total turning points. If there are two turning points, then I'm going to add one to that to get my degree, which is three. Now that makes sense because it is an odd number, which means odd degrees have arrows going in the opposite direction, which this graph has. It also makes sense because my largest exponent is three as well. So that's another way to confirm to make sure that you have the proper degree. In order to figure out how many x-intercepts there are, I'll look at the graph. And now, based on that, how many real solutions and how many complex solutions should we have? And keep in mind that complex means imaginary. So if we're supposed to have three total and we have one real, that means that two are imaginary. Now try to think of an appropriate explanation for this. So one explanation is the degree implies that there are three total solutions. The x-intercept means there is one real solution, and the additional two must be imaginary. Now keep in mind this is only one of the many explanations that is possible. So if you have a different explanation, just see if it has the same idea as mine to see if you would be correct or not. And that's all for this.